Okay, now we can start exporting the blocks. That's the fun part. You know, what we did so far, it's kind of setting up the structure. And now comes the fun. Uh, and I, I really enjoy this process. You will see why it, it's so easy and quite powerful. You know, so, okay, stop talking. Let's do, let's do, let's start doing. So what could, let's do first the hero section. Okay, this is on the test clicks. Let's select the section, uh, the hero section, and then to convert it into a block, we just add the block action from the WordPress panel, and then we give it a name. So this will be hero. We could describe it if, if we want. Um, I won't waste the time now by searching for icons, so I'll, I'll just leave a default kind of block icon. And as so well, do the same with category. Or let, let's create a new, new category. And we'll call it sections, page sections. Needs an ID. We need to register it, so we'll give it a name. Page sections. Okay, and we only have to do this once. We will put all our blocks into this category. So now let's export the team and go back to WordPress. And here we reload the page. And let's see. Oh, our page sections category is here, and our block is here as well. So I added it to the page, but uh, the block is not uh, yet editable. It's just hard coded, which can be useful if, if we have kind of uh, static piece of content that we want to use as a block. Uh, but we can do much more. So let's go back to Pinegrove and then we will make the content editable. First, let's select the image and we say block attributes. Um, this will create an editable attribute. We added block attributes action and the action can have multiple attributes on, on one element, but on the image we just need one and we will call it image. It will be used as an image that's kind of Pangro figured it out automatically. Uh, we have default image size. We can leave it as it is and then title will be image. Okay. Let's export the team. I click update to save the page and then reload it. And now the image is editable. And if we say replace image, and we can either upload or go to the media gallery. And let's select a cool surfing image. Okay, and then here, of course, the, the size of the image will, will be an important thing because we want it to be round. I'm not too happy with this image size. It's too small. It's like 300 by 300. So what I will do is go back to Pangrove and go to the WordPress team settings into image sizes. And here I will define a new name large square with 800 by 800 cropped and save the settings and export the team. 
Okay, now let's go back to WordPress. But uh, once we change the image size, we also have to regenerate images that were already uploaded. Um, so, and WordPress cannot do that by itself. You need a plugin. So I installed regenerate thumb thumbnails plugin. And I, I will uh, tell it to regenerate, resize all the images. Okay, it's done. I close this and then let's update and refresh. And now we have large square size listed here and we can use it. It will provide better quality for our circular image. Okay, this was a bit of detour, but we had to do it. So now let's take a take care of the rest of the content, make it editable. Let's select the H1 and again we say block attributes, action and the attribute ID will be title and the content will be editable. Let's give it a name and that's all we have to do. And while we are here let's also do the the description. So we will again do block attributes. The name will be description. We will edit the content. The name is description and then let's in the under attributes options we can select the control type and we will say this should be rich text so that we can insert links and formatting like bolts uh, if if necessary. Okay, let's export the team and go back to WordPress. Let me reload it. And now we can edit the title, the heading. How about this? I also. Okay. And because we said this is rich text, we can now uh, use formatting here. And the text, like the, the content, the editable content is editable right here on the page as well as here in the sidebar. And the rich, rich text has one quirk. So, you know, if we select the something here, the toolbar, the formatting toolbar is still shown on above the block, not up here as we would expect. That's um, hopefully it will get fixed in future versions of WordPress, but it's not such a big problem because we can edit the text directly on the page. Okay, what to do now with uh, social icons? Um, not every person might have all of those uh, social profiles. Um, so we need to have a way to display only the ones that have um, information set and we will do that and we will select all of them and again add block attributes action and we'll call it social underscore and then we will one by one we will like uh, fill, fill this information up and so the first attribute uh, will set the link and then yeah actually we only need one attribute because the, the content are, are the icons and we don't want to change that and then here we have if empty setting. So usually if attribute is empty, its default value will be used. 
but here we want to remove the element. We don't want to display it. Okay, so now let's select one by one to, to fill uh, the information. So I have B, this one will be Facebook. Twitter, what's this? Instagram, my gosh, what's that? I have no idea. So let's just, yeah, I don't know. It's not GitHub. But it looks like a ball, so let's call it ball, maybe a new social network. Social ball. And this one is Behance. Okay, so let's go here, export the team. And then let's like save what we, our wonderful content. Okay, and here because we, we changed uh, like the attributes of the block, we changed the definition of the block, WordPress got a bit confused, but we can just click on the attempt block, block recovery and usually it works uh, quite well. And we can see that our social icons are gone and the reason is that the information is not set and that's why they are not displayed. So let's add Facebook. I'll just enter a dummy, dummy URL to save some time. Oh, and here it is. How about Instagram? It's also here about the social ball. That's like a fancy new social network that everybody will start using now after you saw it here. So yeah, there they are. And if we now update, update the page and view it, here it is. And we, we have a nice fully editable block um, and that is the first section of our website. So we still have a couple of more to go. So we will do the next one in the next part of the tutorial.